All right, so uh, this is what we call pretty much a standard day in my house. I'm walking into the lizard room. Um, here's our arboreal alligator habitat. Uh, nice and misty. We got some aloe vera plants in there and a draconi tree. Um, they're all, you know, terrarium safe plants. Uh, we get some nice mountain peak rocks, some nice green moss to retain water, little foam backdrop on there, and just a really nice UVB. Uh, they prefer, you know, mid 70s, which this room usually runs in. They really like it misted. I can actually take you in here. And if you look really closely, you can see my little friend, the arboreal alligator lizard, actually lives in here. I'd love to get you a headshot of him. There we go. See him down in there, folks? So, yeah, he really, really appreciates and likes the new habitat. You come over here. You can see that we have the Enchantress chilling out. Uh, if you had seen videos in the past, sorry, I mean, I clean this glass every single day, but I swear it looks dirty the second after I'm done cleaning it. It must be the humidity inside the cage. But, um, yeah, as you can see, you know, updated it a little bit. Uh, we got about a 90-gallon filter running in there now with about 15 gallons of water. Uh, more of a long rock layout with just a little bit of driftwood because uh, they really like just to bask on the hot rocks. I never really seen them go into the five gallon to lie down or do anything. Plus, not to mention that little five gallon setup really started to stink. If you go down here, you can see I little, got a little current circulator. Just keeps the water flowing, pumping everything over to the pump, getting that nice circular action going in the tank. Then we go over to the right. And we're like, who's inside here? Well, this is where our Cuban false chameleons live. These little arboreal bu buggers like to get misted every morning for their drinks. And we have a little tray up there where they like to eat their wax worms and repti worms. Uh, they like a worm diet. Some people say crickets. I've never seen them eat a cricket. I've tried numerous times. I spotted the female for you guys, but the male... Oh, wait, he's right behind the female. Get a nice side view here. You can see them both right there. Here's the male and the females right above them. And we swing over to our cage over here. We have our rescue bearded dragon gambit. He wasn't doing too well at a pet shop, so they gave me a deal on him, and I whipped him from a little baby back into health. Uh, his habitat is a little dirty right now. He ate really well last night, but he's getting a good cleaning today. Then we swing over to my buddy, Epocalypse's Cage. This is where my make her, cage, uh, Haitian curly-tailed, well, sorry, let me rephrase that. Jeweled Haitian curly-tailed lizard presides. <laughs> That's Apocalypse. He's just kind of saying, hey, what's up? He likes to get sprayed with water and misted. He loves crickets and male worms and anything grubby. He likes to burrow in the dirt, hence why all my nice terrarium plants got torn up. He's quite the pain in the butt, but he's also awesome. As you can see, really, really beautiful colors all over him. All right, let's go down from Apocalypse. Oh, and who do we have? We have the Hornies. These are uh, desert horned lizards. Uh, over here to the right, we have my first female. She is named Arbiter. I got her at the Massachusetts Reptile Expo. Over there to the left, that is my male. That one's name is Brute Chieftain. And there's one more that likes to dig itself under the sand inside the burrow. I really don't want to go in and disturb it. I'm not like that. So we're just going to leave that guy be. Uh, if we come up over here, and you look really closely, you can see our little baby pixie frog. This guy is ferocious. Oh, there he goes. Da, da, da. Uh, we just got him in a nice little habitat. Oh, I don't even want to show you his bowl right now. That thing is dirty. I got to give him morning cleaning on everybody. Well, thank you for watching One Room in my feed. And, uh, you know, check in all the time. And then you can see all my little buggers. Oh, how could I forget? My Axolotl's tank. He's kind of in his little house right now taking a nap over there, as you can see. I got a good video of him the other day. Um, if you want to know Axolotl, uh, don't really need light. Just uh, put a filter on there because everything needs a filter. Whether you got a turtle or an Axolotl or anything, just please put a filter on there. And then uh, 
fine, fine grade aquarium sand. Um, if you try to use gravel or any kind of sand that's a little too big, uh, it'll actually cut up their intestines and do a number on them. And then uh, also we got some nice, you know, little plants right here and give them a little den. You know, they like to feel safe. You know, once he gets a little too big, I'm going to have to put a big PVC tube in there and probably bury it in the sand. Just so he has some place to go in and feel comfortable. Ugh. 